Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, right, today, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Normally I would be doing the Take 5 Challenge from Fiona at Miss Paint-A-Lot, but she didn't do one last Tuesday. She was on the final stretch of her 31 days of journaling with her mammoth January, yeah, altered book that she's made. Looks like she deserved a week off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, well I already have, I've grabbed a selection of ready-made bits and bobs or part-made bits and bobs or to-be-finished bits and bobs and I'm going to give, me 30, give myself 30 minutes to make something. I'll stick a timer on when I've just showed you what I've got and then we'll crack on. So what have I got? Well I don't know if you're like me but I like to get ready for projects that never arrive. It's like, what have I got here? I've got a bag of tea dyed yeah or part made look look at that one that just needs some on it and it's done journal cards and tags and yeah a die cut bits and oh, I think I've even gone as far as die cutting that putting a journal card in and popping a little velcro dot on <coughs> excuse me I'm, I've got a bit of a cold it's nothing serious uh, so yeah I've got them uh, I like to do things with book pages and I've got lots of tags and things that are sewn round there's the one there I've even gone as far as putting a couple of bits of paper on to start not finished it uh, but yeah this my craft room is full of bits like this Tanya at Totty Treasure it'll be oh it'd kill her coming in my craft room she'll be like oh why haven't you finished it and sold it <laughs> Uh, we couldn't be more different so yeah I'm gonna I don't know which ones I'm gonna finish yet I've got a couple of yeah they're gonna be corner tucks I hope they're just triangles at minute yeah, I've got these little tags with a pocket done nothing with them so yeah I'm just gonna grab a few of these some book page tags that never had pockets look at that one a giant ready-made <coughs> I'm gonna have to excuse me coughing through this yeah have a drink of your coffee I'm already sucking on a cough sweet ah. my asthma doesn't like weather changing from hot to cold all the time so yeah I'm gonna finish them I've brought my collage box out so I'll get rid of some of them book page pockets. I'll just put a little pile over here. I like my piles. And yes, oh, what's that? A tea stained or ink stained journal card. That was from a series I did using the punch board, word punch board. I've got it begins along the top of a card. These were off cuts from something and I said, oh, I'll make little pockets from them. Have I, have I, heck? I've not done out with them yet. Um, yeah so we've got them I've got a box of washi tape that I love so much I don't use you'll all be familiar with what that's like there's some lovely botanicals and I've got one with butterflies numbers birds yeah have I used them I've used about three inches I think I've got a little box of Tim Holtz fussy cuts I use one now and again I'm, I should just crack on with them I've got my little box of this is my tiny ephemera I do love to label everything with my label printer I don't know what you ended up doing in tiny ephemera I think is a bit ironic into tiny ephemera it's biggest butterfly in the world you can go because I don't think I'm using you today mate in fact, they shouldn't be in tiny they should be in my small ephemera ephemera box so I've got them here's my small ephemera box I mean look how much stuff I've got in there look at it some of these just they're nearly made aren't they so look at that an altered playing card it's been gessoed and it's had some texture paste put on not done anything else with it this is because I like to jump from one project to another <coughs> yeah so right I'll make myself a little bit of room and I will put the timer on for 30 minutes and we'll see what we can make. I'll just pause for two seconds 
because you don't want to watch me tidy my desk for five minutes do you so i'll be back in a second and i'm back right i've decided these are the ones i'm gonna do the book page ones i don't know how many the journal the index card and these i'm gonna make them into little yeah envelopes so i've still got everything i need i've kept my small and tiny ephemera my washi tapes fussy cuts and my collage box yeah uh, I've also brought these in that have been hanging in my craft room now for a good long while. Uh, if you watch one of my earlier videos where I made one of these snippet strips for my Edith Olden journal. Well, I've made these before that, so there you go. They might get... I think they may look nice decorating those. Yeah, I mean, they'd be done, wouldn't they? Put some of that on there, a uh, string and button closure, and they're done. So I just need to crack on and do it, don't I? Yeah. So, what shall we start with first? First, no, I don't want to do that because then I'd have to finish all these. No, that's too big. <laughs> right, we're going to do a couple of tags. I'm going to do this one on my mushroom soup book. So, I'm going to set my timer and I'm going to see how many of these I can finish in 30 minutes. So I need to work, not waffle, don't I? <clears throat> not easy for me. So I'll set a timer for 25 minutes, so then we get you've got five minutes left. And then I'll do another one for 30. So, Alexa, set reminder for 25 minutes. What's the reminder for? Five minutes to go. Okay, I'll remind you in 25 minutes. Alexa. Set reminder for 30 minutes. What's the reminder for? Stop now, please. Okay, I'll remind you in 30 minutes. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna grab, I don't want book page on that. I'll have a bit of doily. I'm just gonna bish bash bosh, get it done. No messing, bit of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, bit of that. No, I don't want that on this one. So, yeah, here we go. Grab my glue stick. Grab my glue book. I feel under pressure now already. <clears throat> I'm going to move my uh, collage box up there. So, I hope we don't get a craft -a lunch. We don't want it falling on us. I've got my ink already. So, you know how I said I'll just pause and get ready. I didn't get ready. I got halfway ready. Right, I'm sorry for any you might hear. I'm just going to move my microphone wire. When I paused, I did have a little crafty accident. Well, not it wasn't even an accident. <clears throat> my little tripod with the ring light that also holds my camera fell off. <laughs> so in a way, it's a good job I paused. Otherwise, it would have been falling on me. It could have fell on my head. I was stood up at time, so my desk out, so it weren't a big thing. All right, let's just rip a bit of that off. So I think I want a bit of music paper there. I'm collaging again with my Elmer's Extreme Glue. I love it. If you do buy anything off me and it falls apart, please let me know. <laughs> Honestly, uh, when I first got this, I did something... I left it for about three months and it's still stuck really well so I now dare use it it's supposed to see well it does it sticks fabric and all sorts I really like it so I'm not thinking too much about this collage today because I normally think way too much and it takes way too long and yeah it just does so I want some brownie crafty or straw paper now. I think I'm going to go for brownie crafty. Yeah, that looks good. I still don't like the straight edges, so they're going, I'm afraid. That's just one of my little quirks. I do put them on sometimes. That's got a little straight edge on. But I couldn't have a big thing with a big straight edge. That'd stress me out, no end. So... Give him a little bit of an ink. 
a bit strange not having a Miss Paint a Lot challenge to do. Yeah, Fiona's doing another one, which will be tomorrow. This video will be going up Monday. So Fiona will be doing another one on the Tuesday. Yeah, I really wish I'd have more time to watch more of her 31 Days of Crafting because what I did watch were absolutely amazing. I think I could set myself a challenge. I know she did a page a day. If I did a page a week, I'd have mine done in a year, wouldn't I? And that is doable and that is something I could do. So I might do. Why don't we go a bit of collaging on there now? I'm going to grab my... <clears throat> do I want an eyelet? No, I want a bit of lace. I've got all my lace to one side again. I'm going to chop a chunk off. I'm going to pop a bit of glue. I've filled my Cosmic Shimmer little bottle up ready. So there's no waiting for glue to come down. So that's going on there. I'm going to glue it and staple it. I don't uh, trust the glue too much with a big chunky piece of lace like that. I just didn't want it to move while I got it stapled. Can you actually see me? I don't know if I've got my camera back right at all. So there we go, that's our top. And we now want a focal point for this, might want a bit of lace. Let's have a look in the small ephemera box. I think you can see that, can't you? What do we want? I don't want a dragonfly. And even this, I'm not going to mess too much. I do love these. I might want something bigger. A lot of these belong in my fussy cuts, don't they? The butterflies. I don't know why they're in this box. I don't even know what I've got in this box. I'm already doing it, aren't I? I'm faffing. Get these out. Open these. I've got a box to put these in now so I can rummage better. So I'm going to put them in the box. Oh, this is all eating into my 30 minutes, isn't it? I don't do well under pressure, man. Eh? Not at all. These are just mixed fussy cuts. They're the ones I made my... <clears throat> paper bag journal from oh I like that that I'm liking can you even see what I'm making here <laughs> that Sorry, I like I don't know that we didn't even ask her that time did we she does love to chime in so I think I want some cheesecloth cheesecloth where are you I had trouble finding my cheesecloth the other day There we go. No, that's not cheesecloth. I'm not pausing because that's cheating, isn't it? She says. I'm going to nick some cheesecloth out of my cluster box. I know I've got a big chunk of it in there. But I bought a load. I can't possibly have used it all. I'll nick a chunk of that. So I've decided I want cheesecloth under this. Here we go. I haven't stained this. This comes as an off-white. It's fabulous. I like it. I'm just going to cut a random chunk. I think this stuff looks really good very random. <laughs> My desk's a disaster, isn't it? What an absolute nightmare. I'm going to pop that on and then I'm going to snip around the cheesecloth. So, I'm going to use my Kalal for this because it'll go straight through the cheesecloth and glue the fussy cut to the tag. So I'll be quite generous with it. It's such an open weave, that cheesecloth. <clears throat> there we go and then I'm going to come in and do a little bit of snipping there we go 
these scissors could be sharper. I nearly had a crafter lunch then I knocked me uh, collage box. And then once it's dry you can come in and neaten that up even more should you wish to. But I'm getting to like more randomness in my old age. Yeah, so can you even see that? We just want a word on that and we've got a finished tag. How quick would that? Grab your little tub of words. This is supposedly what having all this stuff ready for is good for. Oh, I've just seen what I want straight away on top. Awakening nature. I like that. So let's ink round the edge. I'm so messy, aren't I? Look at that. I've got bits of cheesecloth stuck to my fingers with glue. Stop it, woman. So, ink round that edge. I think I might put a bit of cardboard under this. I seem to like doing that lately. Let's grab a random piece. Is that big enough? No, it's not. What about that one? That'll be brilliant. No, it's not big enough. It's going to be that. That looks better. I'm going to rip that along there. I'm going to ink the edge up. I think we're ready for another ink dab. Yeah, I'm going to pop that there. I like that. Again, I'm going to use my Kalal because we've got those ridges. So I want to jelly consistency of the glue. Jelly consistency glue. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Then because the back of the cardboard's flat, I'm going to use my Cosmic Shimmer. I quite like how that looks. I really am improving on this, having to have everything lined up. I've lost my glue. I should have actually run a little, yeah. Yeah, lottery. Whoever gets that the closest to how long it's going to take me to lose my glue wins tuppence eight now. So the person that said two minutes would have been right there. Oh, I just really like the look of that on that cardboard. So there we have it. Our first completed item. I'm quite happy with that. I'm shocked how quick I did it to be quite honest. Right, I'm going to pop that on my windowsill to dry and I'm going to bring in something else. Don't take too long deciding, woman. Where's it gone? Yeah, I'm going to do one of these next. <clears throat> Put that to one side and that. And then that. Put your lid on your words. And pop them over there somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to do this. So... I'm going to grab my corner rounder. I want to round that. There's going to be a lot of inking in this, isn't there? I should have picked the ready inked pieces. But, yeah. How sensible would that have been? I hope we're not getting too dark. I had my light on for that first five minutes. Then I turned it off because it seemed to have gone ever so bright outside. And now it seems to be going dull. I think what I need is a proper blind for my window that blocks out all the light and then when the sun's being a pain I can just use my ring light. As long as we can see. Are you only missing inking at a minute anyway? I like the inside of this, it's completely different to the outside. Right. What's that? What's the inking I'm doing? I'm not inking it with an inch of its lie. And I'm going to come in and punch a hole here. That's it. I'm going to put an eyelet in. 
which I always have within reach. Put your lid straight back on because if you don't, you know what's going to happen. There's going to be one huge disaster. And because I like to put something at the back to strengthen it, I'll grab my little tub of circles. Yeah, I even have my circles ready done. But will I have one the right colour? Well, I'm going to have to find something because I don't have any more of this paper to punch myself a little circle from. I could put a craft circle on. Yep, that'll do me. I do have a clock in my craft room, but it's directly behind me. The only other source of finding out what time it is, is my phone, which is above me filming, so I can't see any time on it. You probably, you can see the screen. I've got a mirror angle so I can see. Oh, it's mad. But everything's back to front and that just confuses my brain no end. Just don't even go there. Right, that's that. I'm going to put my little gold ring in. And a little squeeze. There we go. I just sometimes find if you're only going through one thicknesses of card, they just don't behave these eyelets. So I like to put those little rings on. It helps me. Right, I have some twine. Here we go. I've made my own card for twine. It came in one of those hanks and it oh it was in a right old tank mess. Oh it were it was. So I'm gonna put double twine. So I want one, two, three, about four lengths. So then it's got to go from there around my book and i need much more than that make it longer rather than shorter woman because you can always use the bits you cut off on the tops of tags and i could actually do that today so they don't end up knocking around my floor and ending up in bin which a lot of things we all do it don't we, we say yeah well well yeah that'll come in handy we'll use that later do we I've no doubt that uh, some people do, but I definitely don't. I get overwhelmed with my desk looking a mess, so what I'll then do... Yeah, that's just going to fasten like that. Oh, could we do it? Could have done it sideways. I don't know. I think it's a bit long for that kind of fastener, but... Hey-ho, I've done it now, haven't I? So... Yeah, then I'm going to tie a knot in the end. This is pretty similar to how my paper bag journals I did in Tatty Treasure Tuesday finished. Do we really need it? To, we don't need that much, do we? That's far too much. We only need it to wrap around one. See, I've gone into faff and dither mode. This is not how you finish as many things as possible in 30 minutes, Julie keep the faffing and the dithering to a minimum all right done so yeah that'll just tuck through there what, what a mess come on you can do it that took through there there you go and it's fastened so i need to decorate it but i need to be aware of this going round don't i so i'm just going to do some good old collage with book page again we don't want Emma's name on top of that. And that didn't tear good, did it? I ought to have done this collage after putting that in, didn't I? So I'm just going to do kind of a focally point type collage there. I don't know what I'm going to put on it. That looks nice, that blue. Then maybe just a butterfly. It really can be that simple, can't it? That look that would look really nice in any journal, I think. Everything doesn't have to be decorated exceptionally fancy, does it? So come in and ink your butterfly. Oh, 
ink his tail a little bit. So that's, it's not, I know it's not called a tail, but to me it is. Ink your paper a bit. I might put a bit of music paper across this as well. Yeah. My glue book is now buried under 27 different items. At least I didn't put lid on my glue stick. That saved me three seconds, hasn't it? Method in my madness. Method in my madness. <laughs> you now see how I craft. I craft in a six inch square a lot at time. I just do. That's just how it occurs. I've got to have that writing a bit straight. It'll keep me up at night if the writing's not straight. Yeah, that's a bit better. I've no idea whether that's straight. It's as straight as it's getting, let's put it that way. And yes, I'm going to grab a little bit of music paper. I think I just want half of that. And then I'm going to put that big ticket on and a flutter by. Oh. <laughs> Tell you, pressure's going to me. I'm knocking stuff over. Yeah, we'll have that sticking out there. Because a lot of that's going to be covered up by this blue label. Yeah, this I'm liking. Blue label can go on with some colour. Could use cosmic shimmer, but to be quite honest, I weren't sure where it were. Now I'm looking, it were right next to me, Kalal, but it really don't matter. I do, I, do, I like how that blue goes with beige. Right, where did Butterfly go? Here he is. Could even put a bit of bling on him. I'm going to use Cosmic Shimmer on him because he's got a rather thin tail. And we're a bit blocked. Yeah, get a bit on his tail. What we've already established is not a tail, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to call it a tail. And as soon as the video finishes, I'm going to Google the name of it. Yeah, I'm liking that. We could even bling him up a bit, couldn't we? Should we do it? I'm sure I had my roll of bling to hand. Yeah. Yeah. Now I've got tangled in twine. Yeah, he needs a bit of bling. How much do you want? Three? Is three enough? Yeah. Three's enough. You can get this in sheets much cheaper. I got that yonks ago when I was doing a mini album. Shelley Geigel is the lady's name. She does some fabulous mini albums and she has some fabulous ideas that can also be used in junk journals. Yeah, we're making a wedding album for someone and she used that. So I used exactly what she used. She used to give you a uh, materials well she still does gives you a materials list at the beginning of the video oh yeah that's it just needed that little bit of extra something and i think that bit of bling was it so i'll be careful not to knock his bling off when threading my twine through this put the knot on the end to make the threading easier so there we have it you can go on windowsill too oh what else can we do of course at this desk i'll take a photograph at desk after and put it up at end of video if i can figure out how to do that because you'll be like oh no what has she done we could do a corner now I, again i like the words to run that way so i left this as a top tuck for a journal so what we're going to collage it with i think i want a bit of straw paper for a change or do i yeah, I do. Bit of straw paper. Don't know how much. That's 
too big. You could go there. Well, I don't know why I've gone into sing song voice. Uh, what about that bit of doily we never used on the other one in end? Yeah, I want a bit of doily. I think you might come out under. No, you're going to go there. Yeah, there you're going. You can go there. You can go there. I want something here. Don't know what. It's got to be music paper, hasn't it? Oh, could it be that? No, it's got too many checks and squares and stripes on. A little bit of music paper. Oh, what have I got there? A ruffle? No. Going off on tangents now, woman. Stop it. I want a bit of music paper. Yeah, that's going to come out there. Yeah. So, inky. I'm sorry if there's been an awful lot of inking in this video, but hey ho. <clears throat> it just wouldn't look right without a bit of ink, would it? What's that that Fiona says at Miss Paint a lot? If you cut it, ink it. Well, if you tear it, ink it as well. <laughs> we'll add that one to it. So you can go there. It just looks very weird if you have that point with nothing in it at all. I'm going to try doing this with... I've got a new method of... Can you even see what I'm doing? When I'm putting glue on a doily, with this it is quite sticky. So instead of rubbing it and getting it stuck in all holes. This is a reminder. Ooh. Five minutes to go. Five minutes to go. I haven't really made much, have I? Hmm. 25 minutes. But I've got five minutes left to finish this. Yeah, stop this reminder. Is a reminder. Five minutes to go. Alexa, stop reminder. Stop now, please, today at 3.28 p.m. Cancel. <laughs> She's cancelled the other one. Alexa, set reminder for five minutes. What's the reminder for? Huzzah! <laughs> okay, I'll remind you in five minutes. So we know we've got five minutes left. That's... There's no wonder I overlay, is there? Because I cancel things by accident with that thing. Right, I've got that there. We need a little focal point. Do we want butterflies again? It's so easy to just stick butterflies and everything into it. Now I'm going to come in with one of my birds I cut. Where have they gone? <laughs> buried them. I've buried my birds. That sounds really bad, doesn't it? That's the, I had another one of these with birds in. I think that could have fallen to the floor in my crafter lunch, you know, when my camera fell, when I were off camera. I want a certain bird. I want one facing that way, not one facing that way. He's just facing the wrong way, isn't it? Where is it? I can't find it. I've lost something. I've got so disorganised on my desk that I've totally lost a full pack of pussy cuts that I've spent quite a lot of time this morning cutting out. So that's just shocking. So let's have a look in my small ephemera box what have we got got plenty of birds on cards i feel really under pressure now to pick something so do you know what i'm just going to stick a flutter by on it i can't i can't deal with this pressure it's too much can't do it Do you know what? Yeah, do you know what? I'm sticking that big cabbage white on because I can. I am. And he's already inked. And he's really going to save me some time. Because we're running out of time. Anyone think there'll be some really severe consequences of me not finishing this? So. That's, I've done three things. That needs something else, you know. It needs lace. It does, it really does. But then my butterfly's at the wrong place, so it's 
now I've blown it on that one I could put the lace underneath when I put it in a journal and then put this one under it yeah yeah that'd be a nice chunky tuck then wouldn't it put lace there and yeah you get the gist I could have the lace hanging off the edge like that oh I could quick do it you can do it you don't need the lace completely on Ooh -hoo. and I'm using my cosmic shimmer again because it it seems to hold fabric fine especially bits of lace and stuff but I'm not going to cut this to length first I'm going to glue it on and then do the cutting Sometimes these are very wonky and wobbly along the edges, so I'm trying to find a not so wobbly length stretch. There we go. Oh, perfect. And I'm just going to press it down gently. There we go. I'm going to grab my bigger scissors because they cut better than my medium sized ones. They've been abused far too much, my medium Tim Holtz scissors. And I'm going to cut straight up with the edge of the paper gotcha so a buzzer hasn't gone off yet there's really no point starting something else is there so let's see what we made actually i'm quite impressed that i made three things in half an hour so i don't even know whether that lexus is going to go off has it been five minutes has it not so I'm just going to be all fancy and try and zoom in without making an awful mess. Woohoo, did it. So that you can actually see a bit closer what I've done. So we've got those three. Not a bad 30 minutes work there. And while I've still got all this stuff out, I could go ahead and make some more. That would make sense. I think I want bling on that butterfly too. I really do. So let's have another three bits of bling for him. Is three enough for him? Perfect. It just, at the side of that one and then that. This is a reminder. Right. Ah. Reminder what? Huzzah. She said huzzah really strangely. This is a reminder. Ha. Ah. Ha, she's not even saying huzzah, is she? Saying ha, like ha, you didn't finish. Ha, you haven't put the bling on the butterfly. You are cheating now. You've gone over your 30 minutes. Oh well. Right, there we have it. That's not... Look, I'm quite happy with what I came up with there in 30 minutes because you know I mean, I'm a slow crafter it takes me a long time I dither and I yeah I do I dither far too much so yeah try it yourself <laughs> it's going to take me 30 minutes to tidy my desk up now but I hope you enjoyed that uh, I hope it didn't sound too panicked because I did the adrenaline were going there I was like oh, oh. Oh, I need to do more than one thing in 30 minutes and I'm really pleased that I managed to do three so yeah nothing else to say now is there other than ramble and waffle and I'm not going to do that if you did enjoy what you saw please consider liking and subscribing and yeah I will see you next time and it will be the uh, Tatty Treasure Tuesday tomorrow yes got a good one for that this week so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye